Oh, it's the Vision Quest area. A long time ago, the Toltecs came this far north from the southern building of the pyramids and I'm looking for new lands and new opportunities. My benefactor asked me to build a pyramid on the north side of the border between the United States and Mexico. This is that pyramid. It's a meditative space, a projection space to watch the sky and the cloud changes. Here's a tribute to our lineage, the pyramid builders. How do we keep generating energy for our partners? With, yes, with our partners. Oh. We have sex. Sex. Dreaming. Dreaming. Yes. Because the sex dreaming, you don't lose energy. Well, just the idea that you're uh, bringing uh, a new associates into your uh, uh. sexuality, uh, it energizes. I mean, even if they just come to look at you. Right. I mean, think about that. I mean, it's, it's, it, there's a, all of a sudden a four people intimately involved in a room in whichever way that they are involved. It could be like more subtle, it could be less subtle. But they, it, it's a chemistry. It's, an, it's like it's an alchemy. It's the like real. you go beyond the two into four and to five and to eight. And then you create that alchemy that eventually as a group of sorcerers, Teacher, you have, have question, to leave though. the planet on a disc. And that disc is, has to be made from the intention of the eight warriors. Because if they don't have their intention, you know, all uh, impeccable intention. The, the disc will not get created uh, I, between them. I have a question, teacher. <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> sure, I, I, w I would like to know, and I'm, I think some of our listeners are, are out there saying, this sounds like really, really hard. You're bringing other people to be intimate with you? It's very, <clears throat> How does a woman handle diff that? It's very difficult. Very, very difficult. Well, no, no that's why I thought, yes, thing. that's one thing. But there, there are other tools and ideas mentioned there, like commitment. Mm -hmm. The idea of holding commitment is, is lost from our planet. Even the commitment to somebody telling me that they show up tomorrow and they don't show up. Right. And then they don't even like think that they need to tell you anything. I mean, it's like strange. Mm -hmm. So commitment is one uh, way thing to behold. Honesty. Um, and you know that you're holding the same map. And um, there's, there's definitely moving into what you call the big love, which is beyond just me loving him for a, uh, a, partner. a partner or a mate or, yeah. a, or a soulmate. There's also the idea of sacrifice. And when you sacrifice for somebody, mm. Let's talk you about learn the great that, love. Do people you go, know? ever go through jealousy? <laughs> there is a garden called the Garden of Jealousy. Well, there happens to be that, And yes. um, it's about tending to the different flowers, the different forms of jealousy that show up within you. And you sit in a garden and you associate each one of them with a flower. You actually do this with the group? Well, or no, is that, it, there's that personal practice in, too. You must have personal so practice. someone um, wants to be with Tekka or is, is connecting... If there's jealousy that comes up with you within the sex dreaming practice, what do you do? Oh, within the, the room itself you're talking. In well, the tube? Know, what, you're talking about in well, the tube? What, what there are the there's various? different ways and, and times. Gardens. Like when I'm by myself and how do I work it out when I'm with him, when I'm in the group. Yeah. I mean, even in the group it shows up. And, and then you work that out? And then you might interrupt infinity trouble. One thing you can do is With your become, personal uh, yeah. self-importance. So one thing you can become to, uh, uh, to uh, deal with it that really, really helps is becoming a seed. You just become a seed uh -huh. on the ground. And you stay in seed position and you collect all your energy inside. Uh -huh. And what does and, that do? Well, eventually the seed either stays a seed or it just kind of like is, is 
it's been so intense to be a seed of, of knowledge that it's just kind of like, okay, I got it now, like, that move on. That seed can eventually <laughs> blossom and become a wonderful, uh, fragrant flower. Yes. Now, these are the gardens, and, and they're defined uh, because uh, they're places of personal contemplation, primarily. They're not really as much tube exercises as places where, um, in the female gardens, she goes to gain her power back and recapitulate the important things that have limited her uh, her travel. That creates yeah. more energy for the dreaming practice. Yes, yes, exactly. And, uh, and uh, the, you, the, know, the you know, the whole, whole uh, paradigm, uh, paradigm gets changed, changed, changed to the paradigm, the paradigm of the warrior. The warrior. So how do you, how do you deal, deal with things, with things from, from a warrior, warrior position, position rather than, rather than, than from, from a victim, a victim modality? That's, and that's, and that's, that's really, 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 that's one of that's the biggest, biggest things in a warrior way described by Sananda and Don Juan. To summarize the self-pity of the non-warrior Yeah, there is a garden of, of no, pity no pity too. pity too. That is, that that is described, described there as well. Did you work, Did all, you work all, all these different, these different, uh, different uh, um, ways, of, ways dealing of dealing with issues, issues that, that come up in one Yes, yes, you work and you work and you work and one day all of a sudden, sudden you work and work and work and work and work and the pain is so hard still. And, 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 you know, depending, and, you know, depending on who, who you are and, are and what's, what's your, uh, what's your uh, what's predilection, my predilection is feeling, feeling, so feeling so naturally, I would lose my human, my human form, form feeling. feeling. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, for you Carlos, know, Carlos was, was going, to going to the hospital, he was like he was physically, physically aching. aching. He had to go to the to hospital. And when he came out of the hospital, he lost his human form. And for me, it was definitely through feeling, feeling, so intense, so intense about it, about it. All, the all the work that I've done, mm -hmm. that, all, that of all of a sudden there is an interference from above. All of a sudden it clears up. I don't know how to describe that. So the other part I'm interested in is that journeying. So when we did this little diving down, that was only one world we we connected with. There's many, mm. many worlds. Well, that was a, that was a demonstration of the leap, not creating the world in its entirety yet. Mm -hmm. um, but through constant exploration, the worlds become mapped. So the, the closest one that we talk about is the sand world. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Other, that is a real world onion skin layer closest to our Earth density. And we use particular Take a positions. painted this world. You painted the world. He the painted sand this world. world. Yeah, he painted it. That. You have the mirror of the sand. So when you created the sexual energy within the group, you then went to the sand world. You practice going there, so you get enough familiarity with. We usually our go to the sand world with a fire position, where the female is like a steed, and the guys behind her. That's the fire position. So we ride together. The sexual energy is being the blue, accelerated. The blue organ is being accelerated. Oh, the sexual energy, well, that's the part you want. The, blue, the sexual energy is manifested as blue organ. And you yes. literally dust. see it. Yes. You literally see and it. You've actually tube. seen it. Yes. In the tube, you see in it. In the tube, it's means the dark room. Really, really dark magic. room. No, no light at all. Place. You will see the blue energy, and, and then you will see it turn into a shade of purple. Ah, yeah. everybody seems to get yes, it. Yes, yes, we all see that. As that and as you're developing your technique of the fire position, then the Nawal or someone else who feels it's ready gives the voice command, leap, and you know that there's a, an area of grass between where you are and then the sandwich. You actually take the actual leap. To get in as, as to throw forth your energy double. It's a, these sex dreaming are magical passes using sexuality. So you're aware that your body is still in the steed position, holding the female. Oh, I see, I but see. in that movement, like a pass, 
you project your energy double into the sand wall. It's very important to really split your being into its two greatest halves. It's sex half, very physical, so you're aware you're still in that position of the body, of the well. body yes. but you're also equally aware that you've moved your energy double into the sand world. Mm. So is it the sexual energy actually leaping forward in you, a way? Your consciousness. You're riding on yes, the, it's the your sex consciousness. energy. You are seeing the the man's behind the woman and that's generating some sexual energy and that's lined up with a few people doing that same position. Yeah, facing the and, same direction. Men and women. And yeah, then yeah. at a certain moment, the Nagual or you says leap, leap and everyone leaps for, and then a new world is manifested. And, and we have a, 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 we a have, mapping, so we go usually to a place that we've agreed upon in that world. In which this is case, the, the, the huts. The hut. What's that the again? huts. What do you mean? The, they're the scattered. energetic huts? There, there, are, there are places that are um, watering holes in the sand world. Well, they're blue orgone And you water. actually see this. So everyone, I'd love to try this with yeah, some I know. people. <laughs> we, well, you need a dark room, read the book, sex dreaming. And so, uh, Alan, that, I just want to yeah. bring in a little bit. Yeah. Um, that is the equivalent of, you know, in the story where the death to fire uh, takes Carlos on, on their attention. They build an attention mm. uh, in the second attention, mm. and they, they build the world. And Carlos is riding with them through that world, if you remember that story. And that's equivalent of... Um, uh, Shaman artist Q here that uh, Teka that has found the um, those worlds, and he's was, taking my, um, us on his attention to the degree that then I meet with beings in those worlds. So and so let's say that he created, yeah. So let's say he created the world. So I could say, oh well, I'm just writing on his imagination, but all of a sudden I'm starting to interact with beings in that world that, you know, he couldn't have told me about. And everyone, inter how long do you stay in the sand world for? And how do you get back? You know, energetically, <laughs> it's really important to be <laughs> honest and yeah. impeccable. Yeah. So if you are seeing the party uh, as in a wall is uh, dissipating its energy and not as well focused, okay. or there could be... You know, it is a predator world. There could be things coming that are not mm. good for the group. Okay. It's my responsibility to bring that flying disc that then we have What is the flying disc? In, after you make the leap into the sand world, okay. you begin as a core group. You come back and you develop a, a disc, which in our tube, there's a rounded floor, so it's easy to imagine that you're this. Yeah. And that then is the safe space to travel even further into Together, far-reaching yeah. worlds. Okay. Just imagine a magnetic field, round field that right. gets so the created. So this is what connects the group consciousness because we travel. Just what with this little exercise, we were traveling as a group. I felt all of our energies right. as a single point of focus. Yes. And yes. 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 So in these other worlds that we travel together, in the sand world, in these other worlds, we we stay connected as a mm -hmm. group uh, mind. Now, in the huts, for example, you do wander around and interact mm. with other beings. You have freedom within these safe places. In it's a safe spot for to, awareness. To do personal uh, healings, explorations, or gain organs from other people. So the other sand beings can come and help us heal. The other, there, there are no such things as sand beings. Oh, uh, These are entities that have arrived from other places, worlds, other worlds, and we all change. meet in the sand yeah. world. Yes. Why do you call it the sand world? It, it's, it's strange because all of the sorcerers who have been to this first mm. layer yeah. see it as the place of rolling sand dunes, and they're yellow and amber. Uh, is this and, the uh, yellow world Castaneda yes, talked this about? This is the place of the yellow dunes. Oh. And there doesn't seem to be any other life form there, and you don't see day and night. What you Reminds do see are, yeah. are, are dreamers doors yeah. on the on the on the uh, sand mm. and these huts mm. and those are uh, passages. Other realms.